What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Savage Arm Wrestling. Let's talk about a great match that happened at King of the Table 11. That is Ivan Matyshenko versus Artem Morozov. And why I believe this match needs a run back, because it's a little controversial. Let's get savage. Now, first off, um, if you haven't watched the match already, um, there will be spoilers. Again, I repeat, there will be spoilers. Um, the match I have linked in the description, so if you haven't seen it yet, I highly suggest you go watch the match first. You'll kind of get an understanding of where I'm coming from, but I'll explain a little bit here and there. Um, first off, the match was amazing. The match was great. The match was incredible. Um, and I think that we were surprised. I think a lot of people were surprised about some of the outcomes here. Um, for one, um, Artem could not, Artem Morozov could not get away from Ivan's hook. Ivan was able to suck Morozov into a hook every single round. Now, finishing with the hook, that's a little bit of a different story. Um, even when um, Morozov tried to pull back, um, hit a, like a top roll or a real high hook, um, Matyshenko stopped him, caught him at the front end of the pad, held him, sucked him in, pulled him back, and started attacking. On many of the situations, um, the pins were <clears throat> micro. But now let's talk about um, a couple of pieces that were controversial. Um, now, all these elbow fouls uh, is why the match ended up not really going in Matyshenko's favor. Because when he did hit a lot of his pins or get him or get Morozov to the pin pad, there was an elbow foul. And they were close elbow fouls. There wasn't one. There was there was one. I can't I can't say there wasn't one. I think there was only one or two of these elbow fouls. Um, but I, but the way those elbow fouls looked, they were more intentional, a, more of a professional elbow foul, trying to get a restart. Um, but I don't want you to think that I thought this fell to refing. I think the refing was good. I think the calls were justifiable. There was a little bit of a hiccup in the beginning uh, when they kind of mixed up the rules. Uh, because this was king of the table, and they were trying to use East versus West rules. But again, let's talk about the part that is a little bit controversial. And from my understanding, um, I may be corrected here and blasted in the, the comments, but I am pretty sure that East versus West does not use a 7x7 seven seven pad that the king of the table uses. King of the table uses a 7x7 seven seven pad. And East versus West, I believe, is a little bit bigger on both sides. Now, I know it'll be like centimeters, inches, miles. It, it really doesn't matter. But it does when you look at these elbow fouls. Because they are barely popping off the, the back end. And if Matyshenko would have had that little bit of extra space, could have you secured those pins and remained on the pad? We won't know. Um, that's why I kind of think this needs to be run back because it was for the title. It was a title shot, and the everything wasn't the same. In the title of East versus West, it really seems like everything should be East versus West. Not only the rules, but the tables and the elbow pads, so that every piece of it, there's no questions. We wouldn't have this question. Of if there was a different size elbow pad, there was an East versus West elbow pad regulation, elbow pad via East versus West, would Matyshenko have gotten those pins and not had an elbow foul? And the fact that I have that question, and I may not be the only person that has this question, I believe, and I, I honestly believe there are some other people out there, or they haven't thought about it yet, is if they used regulation pad east versus west that i say regulation pad but i'm I, I really mean that they use the same pad for all east versus west 
and that pad is bigger. It has a little bit more to the front and a little bit more to the back. And if we, if the question is we don't know, then I think that this match honestly deserves a run back. Um, again, maybe wrong if I am blasting the comments, uh, but honestly, I think this deserves a run back due to that, that question, that lingering, uh, I don't know, maybe. Now, if those elbow fouls would have been poof, like a mile off the back, no. Uh, I, I would have been like, yeah, 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 it's nothing. Sorry about that, guys. My camera died right when I was at the end of my video. So I'm just going to wrap it up here. Uh, sorry about the little transition. But uh, let me know what you think. Do you think the elbow pad um, would have made a difference in this match? Uh, what did you think of the match in general? I thought it was a massive banger. I thought it was savage. And uh, what did you think of King of the Table 11 in general? I think it had some great matches. You guys let me know what you think. And as always, you guys, stay savage.